I'm pleased to announce that we will continue to explore ways to revitalize our natural gas and petrochemical sector by considering additional projects under the continuation of round two of the petrochemical diversification pro program. This program has demonstrated success in developing projects in a financially responsible way with private industry taking the lead. Now, as we closely examined other programs, we wanted to make sure that we do not place undue risk on Albertans. We will continue to ensure that Albertans come first while we attract new investment. We have also decided to dis discontinue the previous government's petrochemical feedstock infrastructure program and the partial upgrading program. These programs relied on grants and loan guarantees that carried a higher financial risk to our province and ultimately to Albertans. We want to ensure that the innovation and development that industry can bring to the province is fiscally prudent and benefits both Albertans and investors in our province. This round will provide up to $1.1 billion in royalty credits to companies who have already submitted applications to develop the methane, ethane and propane value chains. To date, two projects have been awarded a combined $150 million in royalty credits, meaning there's another $950 million of credits that are still available under this program. There is significant potential to stand up for Alberta's energy sector while growing our petrochemical industry. Alberta has the expertise to get the most out of our resources, but most importantly, we also have the know-how to develop them in a responsible manner. To ensure this will happen, my department has been working on a vision to set out our government's plan to revitalize this vital sector while ensuring Albertans get full value for their resources. We will be out in the coming weeks to discuss incorporating industry input on this vision and any potential changes to the way the diversification program works and how it can best attract private industry investment in the sector. To that end, there's one message that I want to leave with everyone today. Alberta is open for business and this government will continue to stand up for the energy industry in Alberta.